Hey, Bubble Reds, today we're making a franken tater or a pomato. Okay, so for the tools, you're going to need a pair of snips, or if you have a grafting tool, I use this for my rose bushes, or a grafting knife or just any sharp knife. Okay, so since they're both in the nightshade family, we're going to take a sucker from a tomato plant and graft it to a potato plant. So the first thing I need to do is take my sucker and I need to trim it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take off all these bottom parts and even get to about that. And that's ready to put on the potato plant. So what I'm going to try to do is find a stalk about the same width as this one. And I'm going to use this front one. I'm going to clear out a little bit so you can see it better. So I'm going to use this one here. So I'm going to cut right there and that's what i'm going to use maybe a little bit more so what i need to do is cut a v-notch in this and then an opposite v-notch in this one so the camden layer meets together in both so the first thing i'm going to do is carefully cut me a little v-notch in this one Then I'm going to cut the opposite way on this one. Might take a couple tries to do it. So that's what you want right there. What you want to try to do is take your camdium layer and mate those up to both sides. So then you just put it right down like that. So I'm gonna take grafting tape and take me a piece like that. Then get the camden layer together. And then wrap this nice and secure. That helps it rejoin. This keeps the moisture in and helps it rejoin. So if you have a grafting tool like this, I just wanted to show you what the cut looks like. So it gives you a little cut that has a notch in the middle. When you get the cut, it has a little notch like that. Then you turn this around and notch the other side. So you want to give this as much energy that it can go to the plant. So if it has any flowers or anything like this, you want to go ahead and remove those. So all the energy goes to the plant. So the next thing you want to do is provide some support for this. So I happen to have a small tomato cage and I'm going to get it around it and give it support. I have these plastic reusable clips that I'm going to take it and give it one more area of, of support like that. Anytime you're grafting, make sure you clean your tools because you don't want to spread disease from one plant to another. I also go ahead and put the cage in, you saw, and we put these little plastic reusable clips on here so it also supports them a little bit better. Don't forget, as soon as you do this, you need to water it in really well and keep it moist for quite a few days, probably a week or so. And you probably want to keep it in shade so it doesn't dry out really quick. Now we have our franken tater or our pomato. It's live, or we hope it stays that way anyway. Have a great day. Hey, if you like the video, check out some of these.